So what happens in the middle of a pandemic when you have nothing to do and you're sitting around, you're clicking on the internet and you're looking for something fun and exciting? That. <laughs> Not really. Um, this is actually a solution to a problem that we were having. And the problem is we have these little V8 SUVs and they're wide tires. And although they pull 6,000 pounds a piece, they're not really worth a crap on the road with a trailer. We like to go off-roading, quads, dirt bikes, racing, that kind of thing. So I thought, well, rather than pay double tolls on the turnpike for a four-wheeled vehicle pulling a dual axle trailer that doesn't drive comfortably anyway, why not get one of these motorhomes and maybe convert it? So I found one that wasn't very big and kind of fit the criteria. Now, being a mechanic, I know you don't buy something that has sat outside in the grass or the gravel for 20, 30 years. You just don't buy them. They rot from the underneath and they're nightmares. This one is a 1992 Mallard and it's built by Oshkosh Truck in Wisconsin. Oshkosh, they build military vehicles, they build off-road equipment, they build um, equipment for airliners and airports. So they are a solid chassis. And what they did is they took a Dodge, and I, I researched this to figure out what I bought. They took a Dodge D3500 and added a 4,000 pound front axle and an 8,000 pound rear axle to it. And then they outfitted it like a motorhome. So what you end up with is a very capable truck. And this is not your basic carbureted pilot junk. This is fuel injected. It's one of the first years for OBD-1, which is the first computer controlled fuel injection. It's throttle body. It's got 49,000 miles and it was stored indoors most of its life. It's got an onboard generator with less than eight hours on it. It's got rooftop AC. And now, because I've had it for four or five months, the camera girl and I, our daughter, helped me put a new fuel system in it in 20 degree weather. So we've been through this thing tip to tail and now everything works. All new plumbing, all new electrical, all new ignition, complete fuel system, fuel gauge, fuel pump. We still have to do tires and we're not 100% done. But the most exciting part about it is, let's go this way. Instead of a kitchen and a bedroom and a, an oven and all that stuff, we don't have that anymore. We bought this thing scrap value and it was already mostly stripped. So what we did was we gutted it right to the shell, reframed it. Me being a plumber, I replumbed it. All new plumbing fixtures, all new piping. It's got a shower on one side. So you're able to take this now riding off road, get all muddy and dirty, get clean, sit down and relax. Come on, check it out. And of course we cut a big hole in the back of it. I engineered these springs to make it virtually effortless to come down. We're not done, obviously. Um, I got some trim work, but this is gonna be how this goes. This will be a, a dual flat. It's all just mocked up right now. I wanted to wait until this video was, uh, the truck was completed to do the video, but come on in. We've recovered the sides. I have really good commercial flooring to go down for the inside. This is not only a work surface, but inside is the hot water tank. Um, and also the electrical panel. The rooftop air has been serviced and blows ice cold with the generator power, which I also serviced. I reframed this so you can actually buckle your motocross boots right here because I'm not the same shape I was when I was young, so I needed a thing and that's the perfect size. We did lose one big luggage compartment. You don't need that. This is where the generator is. That's important. Come on. We've already gone through the entire electrical system, the plumbing system, and the vehicle mechanical system. We've replaced the carpet, the flooring, the wall coverings because we changed the shape of the walls. I utilized some of the cushions that were in here that were still good. Come take a look at this engine.
tried to match the new coverings and surfaces with the old stuff so that it kind of blended in between new and old. We've got a lot of covering yet to do, but... So really it's a win-win. It didn't cost much to get the thing. It has taken hundreds of hours and quite a bit of money in repairs, but the reality is um, it's gonna be worth it for us to use. Still got a long way to go on this as well as all the other projects, but I wanted to share this with you guys because um, once it's done, all the trim work is done, there's gonna be videos and adventures with this one. Take a look at what we're calling it. A buddy of mine made that for us, his wife did. Whatever, no more trailers.